Hey everyone, it's Daniel, Brother Brad Barris. Today we're going to be installing the Windows Package Manager, WinGet, another Package Manager, Chocolati, and the Windows Terminal on a Server 2022 standard machine. Now I have a VM set up. You can do this on a physical machine or virtual. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser. Give that a moment to load. We're going to go to our settings. And we're going to go to downloads. And I want to make sure that ask me what to do with each download is on. Okay. So close settings here. Now we're going to go and get our newest Visual C++ redistributable. Okay. This link should take you to the newest one. And I've written down what the newest version is. You can see here, latest version is 14.4033816.0. And I have it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to download both the 32-bit and 64-bit version of that. So let's click on the x86 here. Give that a moment to load. And click open. Click I agree, install, and we're good there. You can delete the executable. Then X64, and open that as well. I agree, install, close, and delete the executable. Now we can verify this by right clicking on start, control, going to our programs and features, and you can see our newest version is installed for both 32 and 64 bit, okay? Now we're gonna get our PowerShell 7 MSI. You can go to the newest releases on their GitHub, and you can verify the latest release, 7.4.6. If you go down here to show all 32 assets, what we're looking for is the PowerShell 746 Win X64 MSI. Okay. Now you can get that here, or you can go to Microsoft's site, which will give you a little bit more information on how to install it. Now it usually has the newest link here as well, but down here, if you wanted to install this unattended or silently, you can see the MSI exec package and then the variables for the installation for quiet install, okay? That way, if you ever need that, you can copy that and you'll be good to go. So let's go back up here. We're gonna click on our x64.msi, give that a moment. Open. Okay, here we are. Click next, next. I'm gonna check all the boxes here. Next, leave that at default, next, and install. Okay, and give that a moment. Now I'm, we're going to be creating a new folder in the Windows directory called Windows Terminal where we'll be storing some things. You can click Launch PowerShell here, click Finish, grab from 26 to 25, copy and paste that there. You'll see it created our new directory and just press Enter to exit, okay? Now we're gonna get our Windows pa Package Manager, WinGet. So you can go to their GitHub here releases, and we're looking for the latest release, not the pre-releases, um, okay? So the first thing we want is our license file. You'll notice here I have the license file set up. Click on that. Save as. Now you can, uh, where this PowerShell was, you can just click that since it's installed. We're gonna go down to the C drive, Windows, go all the way down to the bottom, Windows Terminal. 
We're going to save it, and it's going to ask us if we want to keep that file because it's an XML. We'll say yes, keep. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this desktop app installer dependencies zip file. You can click on that. And I'm going to click open. And we're going to go to the x64 folder. I'm going to highlight these, right click, copy. I'm going to go back to our C drive, Windows, go down to the bottom here, Windows Terminal. I'm going to paste that there. I'm going to close this window and I can delete the zip file since I got the files I needed out of it. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get our desktop app installer MSIX bundle. So click on that. There we go. Save as. It's also going to go in that Windows terminal folder. Save. It's going to ask us if we want to keep it. Yes, we're good. Let's click here to show in folder to make sure we've got all of those files. They're all good to go. We've got our license, our bundle, and our two prerequisites. Okay. You can close this window and you can actually close Edge. Okay. Now I've placed this command here for you to install the Windows terminal at Chocolati WinGet. Actually, not the terminal. The terminal will be installing here using WinGet. But for right now, from line 65 up to 42, okay, make sure that these file names are, the cor are correct. As of this video, they are. But if you see newer versions, you can, of course, replace those lines for the Apex file names and the license file. So right click, copy. We're gonna leave 67 out of this for right now, okay? I'm gonna right click on my start menu, Windows PowerShell Admin, okay? And I'm gonna right click to paste. There we go, it's installing. There we are, now it's installing Chocolati. And there it goes. Okay, and now to verify that we can actually install things, go from line 68 up to 67, copy. We're gonna install our Windows terminal using WinGet. Y for yes, there it goes. This Y should be up here. So we'll change that. I'll re upload that file. Okay, we're good there. We can type exit. And we're going to click on start, and you'll see terminal there. Click on it, give it a moment to load since it's got to download a certain file from the internet. And there we go. There is our. PowerShell 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on Windows PowerShell. Since there are some compatibility issues with 7, I'm going to go WinGet list. It's going to show us the packages that are installed on our machine. I'm going to say Choco list, same thing. You can see only one package installed. Now I'm going to show you something here in, in um, our terminal that when you try to paste more than one line of code, it gives you a warning. Okay, paste anyway, that's fine. We're going to change that. I'm also going to show you a few other things we're going to change. So click here on this arrow, click settings. Now the default profile right now is PowerShell 7. I'm going to change it to PowerShell 5.1 because there are compatibility issues with PowerShell 7 because it is cross platform. So if I need to do things that are Windows specific, I'm gonna use Windows PowerShell. Now, of course, with this down arrow, I can choose whichever I want, right? Then I'm gonna go over here, and I wanna always run these as 
administrator. So I'm gonna turn that on for each of these profiles, just like that. Click Save. And then you see where it says Open JSON File. I'm gonna click that. Try an app on this PC. Click Notepad, okay. And I'm gonna go right here, we're, we're right here, 89 and 90, okay. So after our schema line, I'm gonna go to the end of it, press Enter, and I'm gonna press space bar four times. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna copy this line, paste that here, Control V, File, Save. I'm gonna close Notepad. I'm gonna close our terminal. And I'm gonna reopen, I'm actually gonna go here, uh, right click, More, Pin to Taskbar, okay, right here. Pint, pen, there we go. Click on terminal, okay? And now to test our multi-line pasting again, I'm gonna copy and paste. No more warning, okay? Good stuff. So I'm gonna install a few out-of-date versions of software so that we can show you the how you can use Chocolati as well as Winget to upgrade things. So let's do Line 108 to 107. We'll install one version back of Win or 7-Zip, okay? Give that a moment to install. There it goes. Okay, and you can see there it goes. There's our 7-Zip, okay? Now, I'm also going to install Notepad++ 8.6.9, which, of course, the newest version is 8.7, okay? There we go. And that's installing. Give that a moment. Okay, and then I'll click here, start, and you can see Notepad++ is now installed. Now, of course, because it's out of date, it's gonna say, hey, an updated package is available. I'm gonna click no, because we're gonna update that ourselves. So for Winget, if I wanna see if there's a package that is out of date, I can just type Winget update and include unknown. It's gonna show us our packages, our version, and if there's a new available version. So you can see 7-Zip, 24.07, available 24.08. Same thing with our Notepad. Because Notepad uh, can be upgraded through Winget or Chocolati. okay? And for Chocolati to see outdated packages that have been installed with it, Choco outdated, give that a moment to load, and it does the same thing. Current version, 8.6.9, Available version, 8.7.0. So let's update our Notepad++ version, okay? So say, hey, there's a new version available. Let's install that. Good there. There it goes. And we're going to use a command that would upgrade all of our packages if we wanted to. So I usually run this on my home machine to keep my packages up to date on there as well. So when get upgrade dash dash all, that's gonna update our seven zip. Okay, it says one upgrade available. You can also use the Chaco upgrade all dash Y and that will in update all of our Chaco packages. And then what we'll do is we'll copy from 124 to 122. And we'll see our list of both Winget packages and Chaco packages. Okay, there we go. All set. Now you can also search for packages to install. So let's say I want an Adobe package and I Chaco search Adobe, pipe it through more, and you can see 
here's Adobe Air, Adobe Reader, Shockwave, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna click here, Control C to end that command. And I can do the same thing with WinGet. So dash dash query Adobe, type that through more, and you can see. I can say, hey, inst WinGet install and Adobe Acrobat Reader DC in quotes, and it will install the newest version. Okay, you can press spacebar to see the rest of those. Okay, so I can type exit and we're good to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know and you have a good rest of the day.